Your Majesty, look, it's a girl. <sighs> Whoa. She only knows one word. Young lady, do you need help? No. Frederick, if she only knows one word, she obviously can't understand you. Of course she needs help. This island is abandoned. Now, now, dear, it's all right. We just want to help you. Now, why don't you give me your hand? <sighs> oh, my. Relax, dear. Here, would you like some food? Ah, yes, you smell that chicken, don't you? Good idea, Your Majesty. Here, if you want some chicken, you must come with us. I shall bring her to my wife. Since she can't have children, she could adopt this one. Come on, follow us. Ah. Uh... You'll get food in just a minute, my dear. Frederick, quickly. I've got her. Let's go. Oh, you poor thing. You must be scared out of your mind. Don't worry. I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Oh, look. She learned how to say a second word. Yes, I'm going to be your mom. And since I'm queen, you're going to be a princess. Mom. <laughs> yes, dear. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. You can't be a princess mm -hmm. looking like that. How cute. She probably hasn't had a bath in forever. My dear, are you sure her parents weren't on that island? Well, it's a good thing she can't understand English, because there's something sad I have to tell you. What? On our way off the island, we found a ship that was completely shipwrecked, and the remains of what appeared to be her parents. Oh, how awful. How could she have survived on that island all by herself? I don't know, but maybe once she learns more words, she can tell us. She's all done, Your Majesty. Do you like her makeover? She looks wonderful. I'm going to call her Maria. Uh, don't eat that, please. She's going to have a lot to learn, Your Majesty. She needs to learn manners uh... and... Oh, the poor thing must be hungry again. Come with me. We shall feed you. Your Majesty, she's eating like an animal. She was raised on an island. Don't worry. In time, she will learn better. In time, she will learn better. Look, a bear. Bear like this in jungle with me, but he brown and he bring me food. Really, Maria? Why, that's incredible. You've learned lots of new words. Maybe now you can tell us what happened on that island. Oh, it's all right. You don't have to. You know you're safe here with me, Maria. I promise. May I see other princesses today? Why, yes, there's a ball today. Socialization is very important for your speech development. Hello, my name is Princess Maria. Oh, you're that adopted princess from, like, the jungle, right? Oh, I cannot understand a lot of words at once. Can you speak slower? Can you understand me now? <laughs> <laughs> jungle freak. <sighs> oh, what what a her? weirdo. Okay, Maria, let's try this word. It means appealing or pretty in an endearing way. Cute. Well done, Maria. You have learned another new word. You'll be able to speak so much more to your princess friends. Mom, Dad, I do not want to see the princesses anymore. They were mean. What? what? So me only want... No, no, say I. I only want to see a prince. Oh my. I don't want to meet a dead prince like Romeo. I want a live one. <laughs> what? what? Like in the book you read me, Romeo and Juliet. They dead. Oh, darling, don't worry, you can see a prince. And he will be alive, Maria. As long as he's not rude to you, of course. <laughs> Dad, was that a joke? <laughs> oh, yes, Maria, your father was just kidding. But I know just the prince you can meet. Good evening, you must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice, yeah, I respect. Good evening, you must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice, yeah, I respect that. I heard you survived on an island all by yourself. I gotta say, I think that's pretty amazing. And look at you, you've learned so many words. You are very nice, and your face is cute. <laughs> oh, thanks. I think yours is pretty cute too. I must go now, but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I couldn't help but notice you're talking to Prince Ken. Come here, girly. Let me see your hand. I think we got off on the wrong foot. I want to be your friend. Friend? Yes, friend. So come with me, because I have something I want to show you. See how Prince Ken is holding my hand in this picture? He doesn't look very happy. Um, of course he was happy. He loves holding my hand. Just give me that. Let me teach you some words. Not interested. I saw the way that you look at him, but he doesn't like you. He would never date a jungle freak. Maria? Shh. She just fell asleep. Did she tell you why she came home so sad? No, she wouldn't say. But dear, your god went back to the island and we found out some awful news. What? 
Well, Frederick went back and did some investigating, and he believes her family was trying to start a circus. A circus on an island? Shh, yes. And Frederick believes that they had a bear with them on the boat, and her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained, and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Where is Prince Ken? Oh, I don't know. I told him you didn't want to be around him, you little jungle freak. Stay away from my man. Ow, ow! Maria, what are you doing? I'm so sorry. This is so unlike her. I know. She just attacked me out of nowhere, but it's okay, Your Majesty. I know she's different. Thank you for understanding, dear. No, Mom. She... she go like this. Your Majesty, you have a meeting to attend to, and Prince Ken is here. Prince Ken? No, Maria, you will not be seeing Prince Ken. You are grounded for attacking Princess Rachel. You ought to stay in your room until your father arrives home. I wish I knew how to speak more words. Maria, my dear, I'm back, and I've brought you a surprise. Bear! I went back to the island and found him. He's quite friendly. I know you've been struggling, and I thought seeing him might make you feel less alone. We can keep the bear here in the palace if you'd like. Good night, bear. Hey, psst, Maria, it's me. The guards let me up. I just had to come see you. Princess Rachel tried to tell me you didn't want to talk to me, but I didn't believe her. She's always trying to create some drama. Whoa, is that a bear? Oh, yes, that is Bear, my friend. Your... your friend? Yeah, he's Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage <laughs> to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's day? <laughs> <gasps> princess Elizabeth! Date. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Ugh, oh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. <sighs> this is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you? You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks... Something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her! Run. But what about- Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know, because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, your highness. You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but you'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No! It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name, William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. 
Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promised to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother. Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth. You're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, Mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding. That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you, you die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. shared. <gasps> William! Elizabeth! Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny. Stop! What the heck, Stacy? <laughs> Girl, look up! I just saved your life! They banned Christmas music! This is ridiculous. I was just starting to get into the Christmas spirit. Jingle bell, jingle bell, Who is that? Bell, it's Mr. Smith. He's singing Jingle Bells. He has his oh, AirPods in. Mr. Smith, stop! One horse open. <laughs> no. Sweetheart, you got a smile. It's picture day. Come on. I don't feel like smiling. Well, you know what? At least take this brush and comb your hair a little before I take your picture, okay? Uh-oh. Not today. Ew! You got me right in the Sorry. eye! Hey, babe, what are you doing? Well, brushes are banned, so I figured I would try a fork. <laughs> what are you, the little mermaid? We have to break we up. We need to break up. No more Mr. Smith, no more boyfriend, but at least I still have you. Oh, no, they don't. Anyone with a dog has to hand it over to me. We have to hide you. Ma'am, you do realize dogs are banned. Of course, but fortunately for Billy, he's not a dog. Uh-huh, nice try. Hand over the dog or else... Damn it. Yes! so glad dogs aren't banned anymore. Oh my gosh, I know, right? I'm glad yours didn't get taken. Hey, I like your notebook. Thanks. I got it from the Brianna Missouri merch store. Oh, cool. Someone is seriously out to get me. Oh gosh, why does it smell so bad in here? Sorry. Did you see what they banned this morning? I mean, come on. They banned deodorant, not showers. If I don't have deodorant, then I don't shower. Hey, since boyfriends are unbanned, do you want to get back together with me? I kind of want to get to know you more. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Sweet. And here comes another banned item. <laughs> wow, they just banned dresses. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really going to get to know you now. Oh! I'm not taking this off. Help me hide. Come on. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wear a... This way. Let's go. I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really gonna get to know you now. Oh. I am not taking this off. Help me hide. Come on. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wear a... This way. Let's go. I know you're freaking out, but I have an idea. We cut your dress in half. What? It'll be a two-piece. Jake, that's actually... 
a great idea. Right? Okay, hand me the scissors. I don't know. Your hands are kind of shaky, so... Jake, I'm fine. Just hand me the scissors. Uh, I feel like I should do it, to be honest. Jake! I'm kidding. Chill. Here, take the... I'm safe. <sighs> but I'm not. Can you close your eyes, maybe? Please tell me you're wearing boxers. I mean, yeah, but still, just close your eyes, okay? Thanks. I appreciate you keeping your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. It's been an hour. <laughs> they better unban pants soon. What? What are you laughing at? No, it's just, um, why do your boxers say Merry Rismus? Hey! Sorry, I might have looked just for a second. Ugh, they were a gift. Stop, stop looking. Please tell me I can open my eyes now. Uh, you might not want to. Why? Well, because <gasps> that's why. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. My dad's in charge of this system. How could you not tell me this? It's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell. So you could change the band item whenever you want? Why didn't you change it when it's addressed? It's not like my dad just does whatever I say. It's only for emergency purposes. Please don't be mad at me. How does your dad even know to change the stuff? He has a microphone on me that he'll listen to. He's kind of a psychopath. Yeah, no kidding. Please, wait. I need to be alone. If you're creeped out that my dad's always listening, he doesn't listen all the time. Uh... Necklaces are banned. Is your dad out to get me or something? No, I mean, maybe... This is stupid. If you really care about me, have your dad end this whacked up system. Don't you think I've tried? Please, just take off the necklace. Fine. It's stuck. Hey, looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me. Looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me. Sit in the elimination chair and don't let go of him. Yes, ma'am. Elimination chair? Jake, what is she talking about? I won't let them do anything to you. We shall see about that, son. Dad, let her go. She didn't break the law. Her necklace got stuck. Lies. She was just testing you. Is that true? I... She never tried to unlock her necklace. I have the camera footage to prove it. She was probably just trying to see if I was going to stand up for her. And you know what? I don't blame her for not trusting me when I have a father like you. Well, let's see how much you truly care about her. Oops, now it looks like you both are breaking the law. I'll let you choose one person to live. It's okay, just choose to save yourself. No, Dad, I'm not going to make that choice. Just end the system. You know I can't do that. Then go ahead and end me. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. Oh, Dad, don't! Please, please wait. You must learn, son, to never put a woman first in your relationship. What the... Real interesting philosophy you have about relationships. It's no wonder ours ended in divorce. Mom, what the hell do you think you're doing? Banning something that should actually be illegal. Goodbye, goon number one, and goodbye, goon number two. That's for taking my son away from me. Mom, you, you just killed Dad. I know, honey. It had to be done. Hey, sweetheart, open your eyes. We have to get out of here. Come on, you can trust me. Oh, thanks. This way. Where are we? The room with the deactivation button. What? Well, what are you waiting for? Press it! No. Whoever presses the button dies. Mom, I'll press it. Jake, no, please. The system has to be stopped. You're right, but not by you. No, no. Mom! I love you. <laughs> mom? No, Mom. The system's down. She saved everyone. My parents, they're... they're both gone. Jake, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Promise... Promise you won't ever leave me. Jake, I promise. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, she... she would have wanted us to be happy. We have to run. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah, are you okay? Yeah. From now on, we're gonna stick together, right? Always. I'm so glad I have you. Me too. There's something I've been meaning to do. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from, or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom, I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Aw, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? 
Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> for the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. What am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. Ugh. You may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right. Well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses, just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You've got to help me find my soulmate, because I am not going to be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl. I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom? Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> Hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey, what? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man. Mom. <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey. Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday, he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. <laughs> you know, when I find him, he is so dead. What's he going to do next, huh? The 70s? Medieval times. What? Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at our school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, 
What the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's gonna regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... It's you. It's me. I'm your soulmate. I was the one that contacted your mom. So you're the guy who's been picking all these crazy outfits for me? Yeah, and actually, I gotta say, I think this one's my best work yet. <laughs> so you think this is funny? I mean, maybe just a little bit. Oh, that is it, you little jerk. Oh. Jeez. Do you have any idea how much you embarrassed me? I'm sorry, that was never my intention. I'm just really into history. And I thought it might be fun to dress up my soulmate in the most beautiful outfits I've ever seen throughout the eras. Damn it, that's actually kind of sweet. I guess I got a little carried away, but you're rocking all of them. But I'm sorry. All right, I guess in that case I can forgive you. I think now's the part where you're supposed to kiss me so I can, you know, stop dressing like this. Oh, uh, well, wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. Wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with? So if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. <gasps> oh my gosh, girl, is this Australian hottie your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Yes, I deserve it. The itsy bitsy spider. Stop! Where did you learn to sing? I don't know, I just saw it on the TV. Honey, you must remember, singing is deadly. The TV is trying to trick you. You must never sing again. Okay, I won't. Going to class? Yeah. And you think you can go without wearing earplugs? Come on. Do I have to wear them? Yes. You never know when someone could start singing. These are lifesavers. Hey, take those out of your ears. Yeah, take them out. My mom says I'm not supposed to take these off. Can I just try them on? Yeah, for a second. Thank you. Yeah, these are trash. Hey! Oh, relax. You'll be fine without them. Bria, I need to see you after class, please. Miss Claremont, if this is about my grade, I... No, dear, this isn't about your grade. What are you doing? Mary had a little... Miss Claremont, lamb. please stop singing. Little lamb, little, little lamb, lamb. Mary, little stop. lamb. Stop. Mary had a little... <gasps> oh my gosh, what did you do to Miss Claremont? She was trying to kill me. What? What? She would never do that. I am calling the police. Honey, what's the matter? It was awful. Someone took my earplugs, and then my teacher tried to kill me. What are you doing? rock a -bye, baby Why are you singing? Hush, little baby. Mama's gonna buy you a mocking. <gasps> Honey? Are you okay? I'm- I'm so sorry. Why would you do that? I- I don't know. It was like something was controlling me. Bria? No, no, stop. Stay with me. Bria, wake up. Honey, please wake up. Mom? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my ears, they hurt. Oh, so bad. It's gonna be okay. Let me just look. I see something. What? There is something in your ear. I'm gonna take it out. No, no, don't. Bria, I have to. It's probably what's causing you the pain. Don't move. Is it out? I got it. This is what was inside of your ear. I think there's one in my ear, too. You need to take it out. Fine. Just come here. Oh, I got it. <sighs> Thank goodness. 
I need to test something. Put those on and sing. No, Mom, I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, honey. Sing. <sighs> the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Are you okay? I'm fine. It was the chip killing people all along. But who would have put it in all of our ears? Open up. I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No thanks. Ugh. Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. There, he's not going anywhere. Ugh. Hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I, I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you, are you coming to the tree where dead men called out for his love to flee? Strange. Oh, wait, stop. I'll tell you. I work for a secret government organization. We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it. By making singing lethal, it was a way for us to control the public. This is horrible. We have to tell everyone. Go ahead, honey. We're live. We have all been lied to. The government has been putting these in our ears. That's why singing kills us. But if you take them out, singing will no longer kill anyone, and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. Darling, are you ready for scare school? Yeah, but I'm kind of sad Halloween break is over. Well, have you gotten your scary soulmate yet? I haven't yet, but I'm sure it'll say vampire. Any species will be fine, as long as it doesn't say... Monster Hunter. Don't worry, dear. I'm sure you will get a spooktacular soulmate. Of course. Um, I better get to class. Class, for an icebreaker, why don't we all tell each other our scary soulmates? Batalina, we'll start with you. Well, my scary soulmate is... Red alert. Red alert. Monster Hunter has been detected on property. <gasps> what? Everyone, be quiet. Get to the safe room. Madalina, hurry! We have to get to the safe room! Bulia, I don't know what's wrong. There must be garlic around here somewhere. But they're about to close the doors! Just go! Save yourself! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I see you fell right for my garlic trap. Finally, I've caught my first vampire. You're coming with me. You're coming with me! What the? Oh, hell no! I'm not dealing with this! Get away from me! Welcome back from school. Here, eat some zombie fingers. I'm not really hungry. Mom says my things are going to come in before yours. That's really great, Luna. Listen, I have to tell you something, but you have to promise not to tell Mom and Dad. Is it about your soulmate? Yes, and I'm only telling you this because I can't stand keeping this secret anymore. <gasps> is your soulmate a werewolf? No, worse than that. Uh, is he a ghost or something? Worse. Wait, is your soulmate a human? Yeah. Is your soulmate a monster? Shush, shush. They're going to hear you. Monster hunters want to experiment on us. I know, okay? I almost got captured by one today. Wait, what? Look, it's a long story, but... No way I'm answering that. Luna! Betalina, go see who's at the door. Of course. Hey, remember me? I got a surprise for you. <laughs> you caught a beautiful vampire, son. Thanks, it wasn't easy. So feisty, but no fangs, I see. Interesting. First, let's test your resistance to sunlight. No, please. Dad, wait. <laughs> Son, watch her. I'll be right back. Hey, there's something I need to tell you. I'm actually half werewolf. My father doesn't know. What? He's been training me to be a monster hunter for years, but I just can't go through with this. I don't like seeing him hurt you. Son, we need a blood sample from her. Come on, we gotta get you out of here now. Son? Run, this way. Alright, you should be safe now. Thanks. Us mythical creatures, we have this thing called a scary soulmate. I know, since I'm half werewolf, I also got one. Oh. <laughs> what does yours say? Monster Hunter? Huh. Mine says vampire. You don't think that you and I are... <laughs> Soulmates? There she is! Get back! Mom, Dad, please wait. He... he saved my life. I'm sorry for taking her away. I was just trying to make my dad proud. Betalina, humans are not to be trusted. But... but he's not fully human. Watch, I'll prove it. <gasps> you are a werewolf? Part werewolf, yes sir. So, does this mean that you'll allow us to date? Date? You like him. Yeah, we kind of think that we're each other's soulmates. Yeah, I see. Oh! 
Dad! That was for kidnapping my daughter. Oh. But that is for returning her safely. Thanks. You may kiss him now. Wait, what? You must kiss him, darling, to see if he's truly your scary soulmate. Like, right now? In front of you guys? Come on, would you just kiss him already? Luna, when did you get here? Eh, just a little while ago. Okay, well, can you guys, like, close your eyes, please? Of course. It's okay. We should find out. It's a match. <laughs> we are. Yes, I knew it. Guys, look! Son, how dare you betray me? Get away, Dad. She's my soulmate, and I'm not gonna let you hurt her. You're a creature like them? Yes, he is, and I suggest you run unless... You want to become our next meal. Uh, of course not. Please don't eat me. I I'm going. I'm leaving. He won't be bothering us again. Yeah, I think we all scared the crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Class, starting today, everyone will be able to play the game I Spy to earn money. So, who wants to play with me? I do. No, me. Why don't we give the quiet girl a shot? I spy with my little eye something green. Aw, oh, come on, that's so easy. She better get this right. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> settle down, settle down. It was the green apple. Sweetheart, you need to talk to your mom. It's really time that she gets you some glasses, okay? Hey, Mom, the teacher told me today to ask you if I can get some glasses. I told you we can't afford them. If I had glasses, I could earn us money from this game. You can earn us money from the game without the glasses. You can see just fine. I got you a little something. You bought me glasses? They're just temporary, until your mom can get you your exact prescription. This is so much better. I can actually see now. I hope it helps you play the game, too. I spy with my little eye something yellow. That yellow daisy right there. You got it. Yes. I spy with my little eye something brown and white and covered in water. That dog. Dang, she's fast. You've been getting so much money ever since you got your glasses. I know. Amelia, where did you get glasses? My, um, my teacher got them for me. Really? Let me see them. Wasn't it so nice of her? Yes. I still can't believe that you broke my glasses. I told you they weren't your prescription. They would have ruined your eyes if you kept wearing them. They were supposed to be temporary until you bought me my own glasses. Don't you understand, Mom? I can't play I Spy if I can't see. Amelia, don't you get smart with me. And today, you'll tell everyone that you lost your glasses, and not that I broke them. Got it? Hey, shy girl, you ready? I spy with my little eye something blue. Hey, she doesn't have her glasses today. I made it so easy for her. It's right in front of her face. What is it? I don't know, okay? I can't see it. It's all blurry. Way to go, doofus. You made her lose money. Hey, it's not my fault she's blind. Amelia, can you please see me after class? Hey, so where's your glasses? I lost them. But Amelia, I just gave them to you. Okay, the truth is, my mom broke them, and now I lost all my money because they kept asking me to play the game, and I couldn't see anything. <sighs> I had a feeling something like this might have happened. Not to worry, I know how to get you seeing again. You do? Yes, I think I know a way where we can get you some contacts. You would do that for me? Of course. I, I really care for you, Amelia. But about your mother, there's something you need to know. I reported your mother to the police. She's gonna get so mad. Amelia, I'm so sorry, but she's clearly been neglecting you. Everything's gonna be fine, though. Just stay with me, I'll take care of you, and we'll go get you some contacts. Okay, the eye doctor is right down here. I'm sorry, I, I have to go back to my mom. No, please, there's more I need to explain. You have the right to remain silent. Mom. Well, if it isn't the little traitor. I swear, I, I didn't have anything to do with this. Ma'am, our records are showing that your daughter is adopted. What? Well, she didn't know that until now, officer, but yes, she is. I see. Sweetheart, please come with me. After further investigating your living conditions, we have concluded that your mother was neglecting you. I want to know who my real mother is. Are your new contacts working? Good. Then you can now play the game I Spy, right? Yeah, but I don't see how that's going to explain anything. Please, let's just play. Fine. I spy with my little eye, someone with blonde hair and blue eyes. It's... It's Mrs. Smith. Hi, honey. I... I don't understand. What... what are you doing here? I'm here because now you're going to need a new parent. And remember how we took a blood test of you earlier? The results said... No. Honey, yes. I was only 16 when I had you. When I became your teacher, I just knew that you were my daughter. I should have never given you up. Will you please accept me back? Why don't we play the game? I spy, with my little eye, someone who... 
who loves you very much and has always wanted a mom like you. Is it you? <laughs> I'm so nervous for who my soulmate is going to be. Don't be. You're Santa's daughter. I'm sure you'll get someone just as jolly as you are. I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son because he's super cute. <gasps> who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny's son. Your soulmate's a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. I have to go now. Bye! Jack Frost has a son. Oh, I bet he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I think your father wants to speak with you. He's in his office. Okay. Santa, your daughter's here to see you. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hi, Dad. So, have you found out who your soulmate is the son of? Nope. Hmm. Is that so? Emergency! Emergency! All the toy machines have been frozen! <laughs> Sounds like the work of Jack Frost. I'll be right back, Holly. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. Name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow. Pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Hey! I told you to stop following me. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No. Have you? Nope. And I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Jared! Santa's looking for you. Ho, oh, oh. ho. There she is. We thought we heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. <laughs> Holly, we wanted to tell you the toy machines are fixed. Great. But now we need to know. Who your soulmate is the son of. Please tell me it's father time. I'm actually not feeling so well. I think I need fresh air. Oh no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? Holly! Jared? Don't move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. That's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. You should be good to cross now. Give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you. I promise. Let me see your hand. Okay. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice. <gasps> Whoa. Hey, you all right? Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad. He thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah. It's because I haven't mastered my powers yet. You seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Thanks. Want to see something cool? Sure. It's okay. Try again. Oh, Jared, it's beautiful. You really are. <clears throat> I mean, it's beautiful, but you are too. What are you doing? Dad? We were just talking, Jack. It's Mr. Frost to you, and I know flirting when I see it. No son of mine will be with a Kringle. Stop! That isn't fair. Ow! Dad, let go! No, son. We're leaving. And he's never going to see you again. It's okay, Holly. Just go! Mom, Dad, why are you guys looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You, Holly, are on the naughty list. Okay, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who I got as a soulmate. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. What? <gasps> what? His whole family is cold-hearted. But Jared is different. <laughs> Frosts are nothing but bad news. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. That's right. You heard your mother. Go to your room. I have to save Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Holly, I could help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Actually, I could use your help. Sweet, because I've already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. You have? I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story, plus <laughs> I totally ship you guys. Winky. Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which has already been completed. But they never take afternoon naps. Well, let's just say I gave them some special milk and cookies. <gasps> Winky! Sorry, it was the only way, but come with me. I think Jared's in danger. This is the house, and I overheard Jack telling Jared he's gonna lock him in the basement. Okay, you distract Jack, and I'll go save Jared. Deal. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... 
Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Hi, girly. Oh, hi, girls. Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Is that a Ross tag? This? I just put that on there so people wouldn't steal it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No. You're being sus. My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm going to have him make yours public. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Will you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm hmm Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. Oh, boy. What are we going to do? 5% is like peasant material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right, it's canceled. We have 100%? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have 100%? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! Oh. Todd, how dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... Uh, let me go, you jerks. Read this. Uh, I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, geez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him tr- oh! Yes, Todd, get them. <laughs> <laughs> And this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. 
Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So of course there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid because family members, they are worth a lot more than money, right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. What? You're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no, I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm going to go wash my face. I'll be right back. Oh, shit. I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No. You're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention. The game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I gonna do? Shh, listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her! Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because... Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like, like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not gonna leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go! <laughs> Ellie, found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a Hyder? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Want to end the game? It'll be okay. No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game. It's what my dad would want. You pick the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine, I pick the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. What? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. 
Mom? Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. Looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, Captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the... The pirate king had. Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No. Your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute. You knew my father? Yes. We were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape. Not so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William, where are we? We're on Skull Island, Princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, Your Majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, Mo. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? Class, starting today, everyone will be able to play the game I Spy to earn money. So, who wants to play with me? I do. No, me. Why don't we give the quiet girl a shot? I spy with my little eye something green. Aw, oh, come on, that's so easy. She better get this right. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> settle down, settle down. It was the green apple. Sweetheart, you need to talk to your mom. It's really time that she gets you some glasses, okay? Hey, mom, the teacher told me today to ask you if I can get some glasses. I told you we can't afford them. If I had glasses, I could earn us money from this game. You can earn us money from the game without the glasses. You can see just fine. I got you a little something. You bought me glasses? They're just temporary, until your mom can get you your exact prescription. This is so much better. I can actually see now. I hope it helps you play the game, too. I spy with my little eye something yellow. That yellow daisy right there. You got it. Yes. I spy with my little eye something brown and white and covered in water. That dog. Dang, she's fast. You've been getting so much money ever since you got your glasses. I know. Amelia, where did you get glasses? My, um, my teacher got them for me. Really? Let me see them. Wasn't it so nice of her? Yes. I still can't believe that you broke my glasses. I told you they weren't your prescription. They would have ruined your eyes if you kept wearing them. They were supposed to be temporary until you bought me my own glasses. Don't you understand, Mom? I can't play I Spy if I can't see. Amelia, don't you get smart with me. And today, you'll tell everyone that you lost your glasses, and not that I broke them. Got it? Hey, Shy Girl, you ready? I spy with my little eye something blue. Hey, she doesn't have her glasses today. I made it so easy for her. It's right in front of her face. What is it? I don't know, okay? I can't see it. It's all blurry. 
Way to go, doofus. You made her lose money. Hey, it's not my fault she's blind. Amelia, can you please see me after class? Hey, so where's your glasses? I lost them. But Amelia, I just gave them to you. Okay, the truth is, my mom broke them, and now I lost all my money because they kept asking me to play the game, and I couldn't see anything. <sighs> I had a feeling something like this might have happened. Not to worry, I know how to get you seeing again. You do? Yes, I think I know a way where we can get you some contacts. You would do that for me? Of course. I, I really care for you, Amelia. But about your mother, there's something you need to know. I reported your mother to the police. She's gonna get so mad. Amelia, I'm so sorry, but she's clearly been neglecting you. Everything's gonna be fine, though. Just stay with me, I'll take care of you, and we'll go get you some contacts. Okay, the eye doctor is right down here. I'm sorry, I, I have to go back to my mom. No, please, there's more I need to explain. You have the right to remain silent. Mom! Well, if it isn't the little traitor. I swear, I, I didn't have anything to do with this. Ma'am, our records are showing that your daughter is adopted. What? Well, she didn't know that until now, officer, but yes, she is. <sighs> I see. Sweetheart, please come with me. After further investigating your living conditions, we have concluded that your mother was neglecting you. I want to know who my real mother is. Are your new contacts working? Good. Then you can now play the game I Spy, right? Yeah, but I don't see how that's going to explain anything. Please, let's just play. Fine. I spy with my little eye, someone with blonde hair and blue eyes. It's... it's Mrs. Smith. Hi, honey. I... I don't understand. What... what are you doing here? I'm here because now you're going to need a new parent. And remember how we took a blood test of you earlier? The results said... No, honey, yes. I was only 16 when I had you. When I became your teacher, I just knew that you were my daughter. I should have never given you up. Will you please accept me back? Why don't we play the game? I spy, with my little eye, someone who who loves you very much and has always wanted a mom like you. Is it you? <laughs> Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Andrina. Okay, true or false, a mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I going to grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Draki Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair's getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. 
Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrena. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone, and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because... We want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know... I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are gonna stay extinct anymore. Darling, are you ready for scare school? Yeah, but I'm kinda sad Halloween break is over. Well, have you gotten your scary soulmate yet? I haven't yet, but I'm sure it'll say vampire. Any species will be fine, as long as it doesn't say... Monster Hunter. Don't worry, dear. I'm sure you will get a spectacular soulmate. Of course. Um, I better get to class. Class, for an icebreaker, why don't we all tell each other our scary soulmates? Batalina, we'll start with you. Well, my scary soulmate is... Red alert. Red alert. Monster Hunter has been detected on property. What? Everyone, be quiet. Get to the safe room. Batalina, hurry. We have to get to the safe room. Julia, I don't know what's wrong. There must be garlic around here somewhere. But they're about to close the doors. Just go. Save yourself. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I see you fell right for my garlic trap. Finally, I've caught my first vampire. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. What the? Oh, hell no. I'm not dealing with this. Get away from me. Welcome back from school. Here, eat some zombie fingers. I'm not really hungry. Mom says my things are going to come in before yours. That's really great, Luna. Listen, I have to tell you something, but you have to promise not to tell Mom and Dad. Is it about your soulmate? Yes, and I'm only telling you this because I can't stand keeping this secret anymore. <gasps> is your soulmate a werewolf? No, worse than that. Uh, is he a ghost or something? Worse. Wait, is your soulmate a human? Yeah. Is your soulmate a monster? Shush, shush. They're going to hear you. Monster hunters want to experiment on us. I know, okay? I almost got captured by one today. Wait, what? Look, it's a long story, but... No way I'm answering that. Luna! Betalina, go see who's at the door. Of course. Hey, remember me? I got a surprise for you. <laughs> you caught a beautiful vampire, son. Thanks, it wasn't easy. So feisty, but no fangs, I see. Interesting. First, let's test your resistance to sunlight. No, please. Dad, wait. <laughs> Son, watch her. I'll be right back. Hey, there's something I need to tell you. I'm actually half werewolf. My father doesn't know. What? He's been training me to be a monster hunter for years, but I just can't go through with this. I don't like seeing him hurt you. Son, we need a blood sample from her. Come on, we gotta get you out of here now. Son? Run, this way. All right, you should be safe now. Thanks. Us mythical creatures, we have this thing called a scary soulmate. I know. Since I'm half werewolf, I also got one. Oh. <laughs> what is your say? Monster Hunter? Huh. Mine says vampire. You don't think that you and I are... <laughs> Soulmates? There she is! Get back! Mom, Dad, please wait. He... he saved my life. I'm sorry for taking her away. I was just trying to make my dad proud. Betalina, humans are not to be trusted. But... but he's not fully human. Watch, I'll prove it. <gasps> you are a werewolf? Part werewolf, yes sir. So, does this mean that you'll allow us to date? Date? You like him. Yeah, we kind of think that we're each other's soulmates. Yeah, I see. Oh! Dad! That was for kidnapping my daughter. Oh. But that is for returning her safely. Hey, you may kiss him now. Wait, what? You must kiss him, darling, to see if he's truly your scary soulmate. Like, right now? In front of you guys? Come on, would you just kiss him already? Luna, when did you get here? Eh, just a little while ago. Okay, well, can you guys, like, close your eyes, please? Of course. It's okay. We should find out. It's a match. <laughs> we are. Yes, I knew it. Guys, look. Son, how dare you betray me. Get away, Dad. She's my soulmate, and I'm not gonna let you hurt her. You're a creature like them? Yes, he is, and I suggest you run unless... You want to become our next meal. Uh, of course not. Please don't eat me. I I'm going. I'm leaving. 
He won't be bothering us again. Yeah, I think we all scared the crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this not coming off? You may not remove the outfit. You gotta be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked... Early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> for the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. What am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. Ugh. You may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right. Well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You've got to help me find my soulmate because I am not going to be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl. I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom? Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey. What? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh. There's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man, mom. <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey. Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom. But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now, because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? Alright. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. 
Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now, because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please, just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's gonna regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may now dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what air your soulmate dresses from now? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with, so if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. Oh my gosh, girl, is this hottie with an accent your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Yes, I deserve it. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But, Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Hi, girly. Oh, hi, girls. Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Is that a Ross tag? This? I just put that on there so people wouldn't steal it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours public. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm hmm Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public. Oh, boy. What are we gonna do? 5% is like peasant material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm gonna be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. 
You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or, or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run... <sighs> Todd! How dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... Ugh, let me go, you jerks! Read this. I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script! Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> we're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him try... <laughs> yes, Todd, get them. <clears throat> <clears throat> and this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. You think I could use your house really quick to charge my phone? Yeah, sure. Wait, is that a blue mark? Sorry, can't help you. Please, I couldn't afford to pay my electricity bill this month, and all the public charging stations are for rich people. I missed the part where that's my problem. Get out of here. Hey, isn't that the girl whose parents, like, died at sea? Yeah. Yikes. They're not dead. They're gonna come back. Oh, really? Yeah. And when they do, they're gonna bring back the lost pirate's treasure. <laughs> my mark is gonna change. We'll be sure to call me when your zombie parents come back from the dead. <laughs> hey, don't listen to them. You're gonna be okay. It's easy for you to say that. Your whole family has yellow marks. Look, just because we're rich doesn't mean we're... Mail delivery. Kayla, what's that? It's a card, and it's signed by my parents saying that they want me to meet them at the Golden Ball. Sounds like a trap. No, I know my parents' handwriting. Only yellow marks can get into the ball. Well, then I'll just have to change my mark. Wait, what? You are so lucky I have yellow paint. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta trust the process on this. Dude, hurry up, I hear cops. I'm going as fast as I can. Well, then I'll just have to change my mark. Wait, what? You are so lucky I have yellow paint. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta trust the process on this. Dude, hurry up, I hear cops. I'm going as fast as I can. Hey, you two, let's see your marks. Huh, have you guys seen any blue marks? No, sir. No. Good, because they're not allowed around this side of town, so if you see any, let us know. Will do, yes. Let's go. That was close. What did your parents' letter say again? It said for me to meet them at the Golden Ball and to wait for a signal. Kayla, this really sounds like a trap. And you can't wear that to the ball. Look, you gotta dress like a yellow mark. You gotta wear a fancy dress. Well, I might have this mark, but I don't have money. But I do. Come on, we're going shopping. Come on, Kayla, you're about to have your Cinderella dress moment. Hey, you. Let me see your mark. Come here, let me see it closer. Uh, officer, is everything okay? Hey, you. Let me see your mark. 
Come here, let me see it closer. Uh, officer, is everything okay? There's been a lot of people faking their marks, and hers looks- <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Come on, let's go. So what do you think? Whoa, I- I love it. Green really suits you. If this thing is called the Golden Ball, then why am I dressed like a flower? <laughs> because this year's theme is spring. Wow, this place is really fancy, huh? Man, I am starving right now. Same. Dang, look at all the desserts. You see the cupcakes? Well, what are we waiting for? Come on! Oh, these desserts are so good. Hey, aren't those your favorite flowers? Tulips, right? This is the sign. Wait, like from your parents? Is that a note? Kayla, this is... Freeze. Both of you are coming with us. Hey, aren't those your favorite flowers? Tulips, right? This is the sign. Wait, like from your parents? Is that a note? Kayla, this is... Freeze. Both of you are coming with us. Get off of me! Kayla! Well, look who we have here. <sighs> Mom? Mrs. Stewart? Mom, what is going on? I'm getting us the treasure, honey. They're gonna bring back the lost pirate's treasure. <laughs> My parents, My parents found the treasure. And they're, and they're alive. alive. Why, look, you changed your mark, didn't you? That's against the law. Now let's see that note. You give that back. Now what does this say, Delilah? Do you know what that means? No. She's definitely lying. Give her the truth serum. Jake? Mom, stop it. What does Delilah mean? It was the name of my old treehouse that my parents made for me in the woods. Interesting. And do you know where it is? Yes. Perfect. Okay, let her go. Kayla, you're going to be taking us all to the treehouse. Now let's go. It's up there. The treasure has to be in that treehouse. Jake, climb up there and look for the treasure. No. You won't see Kayla again until you do. Take her away. Jake! Kayla! You won't see Kayla again until you climb up into that treehouse and get me that treasure. Take her away. No, Jake! Let's go. Kayla! Let me see that mark of yours. Why did you take a picture? So I could show the cops how you faked your mark when I turn you in. Let's get this yellow paint off. There. Now you're back to being poor. <laughs> Alright, sit down. Don't move from that spot unless I say so. Why are you helping Mrs. Stewart? I have my reasons. Just mind your own business. She's promising you a lot of the pirate's treasure, isn't she? Maybe she is. What's it to you? I could get you a lot more gold than what she's promising. How? Because I lied about the note from my parents. Delilah wasn't the name of my treehouse. What? Now what does this say, Delilah? Do you know what that means? It was the name of my old treehouse that my parents made for me in the woods. Who names a treehouse? Come on. Delilah is the name of my car. Really? Mm-hmm. And if you take me to it right now, I'll give you half of whatever treasures we find in there. What if your parents try and ambush us? I'm their daughter. They're not going to ambush us if I'm there. I don't know. We are running out of time before they figure out that there is no treasure in that treehouse. Do we have a deal or not? All right, all right. You got yourself a deal, kid. That's my car. I see something shiny in there. Huh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. This is the Golden Bass. It's worth like five million. So I'll be taking it. We had a deal. You know what they say. Deals change. Oh. Oh. And where do you think you're going? You found it. Let me see it. Give it to me, you little brat, or I'll... Oh. <sighs> Honey? Mom? Dad? Hello. We, we missed you. you. You got our note. We promised you we'd find that treasure. I just knew you guys would come back. Kayla! Jake! Uh, are you okay? Oh my gosh, your parents. Whoa, is that the treasure? So, I just wanted to congratulate you on getting your mark changed, for real, this time. <laughs> Thanks. Also, I know you're like a rich girl now, and my mom's in jail, and I just don't want things to be awkward between us, because I know we're friends, Jake, but- Jake, stop talking. <gasps> 10,000? But mommy and daddy always give me 15,000. They must be trying to put me on a budget or something. My parents only gave me $5 today. Yikes, sucks for you. Please, can you buy me my lunch? No, I don't think I will. Oh, please, I'm so hungry. Sorry, I can't help you. You know what? You're gonna regret this. Okay, your total's 8,000. Oh, I don't quite have enough. <laughs> Do you want me to just put it on hold for you? No, I really wanted to get this bag today. Um, my parents are gonna reload my balance tomorrow. Is it okay if I just pay for it then? Yeah, sure, we can do that for you, babe. Mm. Thank you. Five dollars? No, this, this has to be an error or something. 
If you don't have the money, you have to return the bag. Well, about that, I kind of sort of already gave it away as a birthday present. Okay, then you're getting arrested. Security? Wait, what? Officer, there's been a mistake. I have a lot of money. Yeah, sure. Just sign right here, okay? I am not signing anything until I speak to my lawyer. Oh, really? Yes, and I know that I get one phone call. What, you gonna call mommy and daddy to come save you? Maybe. You're something else, kid. Come on, follow me. <sighs> Hello? Mommy, it's me. Make it quick, darling. I'm at a photo shoot. Mommy, I've been arrested. What? Yes, why did you and Daddy only give me five dollars today? Five dollars? No, Daddy and I sent you 15k. What? Then I don't know what happened, but can you guys come get me? I'm in France right now, darling. Okay, then what about Daddy? Daddy is shooting a movie in Dubai. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Joanna, we need you. Darling, I'll call you back. Hello? Hey, you got a visitor. Mommy and Daddy finally came to get me. Hi, remember me? I told you you'd regret not buying me that lunch. You switched our bank accounts, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I learned how to hack the system. It's something I've been working on for a very long time. All of this because I wouldn't buy you a stupid lunch? Not just that. You're a spoiled little brat who needed to be taught a lesson. You don't know me. Oh, but I do. I did my research on you. Your mommy is a model and your daddy is a movie star. But they both love their careers more than you. That isn't true. Oh, really? Then why aren't they here? Give me back my money. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, thanks? <laughs> Just kidding. <gasps> hey, you little- Watch it. If you want to get out of here, you're going to do exactly as I say. Now that you're out, for every task you do for me, I'll give you back five dollars. But that'll take forever. Exactly. Go clean my bathroom. Yeah, no way. All right, then. I guess I'm never switching our bank accounts back. Okay, fine. That's what I thought. Now get to scrubbing. Okay, I'm all done. Good. Here you go. It's kind of hot in here, so fan me with this. Who do you think you are? Royalty or something? <laughs> Might as well be. Now do it. Can I stop now? Hey, what was that about? No complaining or you lose money. All right, you know what? That's it. Ugh. No, stop! Darling, I'm so proud of you for getting your money back. Yeah, but I realize I should be a little bit more generous with my money, since you guys do give me so much. Darling, your daddy's movie got cancelled, so we're gonna have to cut back. Oh, well then, um, how much am I gonna get now? Well, you see... Give up my voice until I meet my soulmate, or give up my sight? Those are horrible options. Pick voice. But if I don't have my voice, then how- Shh, you'll be fine. Do you really want to be blind? Well, no. Then make your choice. The time is running out. Is her voice gone? Try and talk. No way. She can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, it's not polite to laugh. <laughs> Girls, don't forget we're throwing that ball tonight. Mother, please tell me she's not invited to the ball. Yeah, she'll ruin all the fun. Don't worry, girls. She's not invited. She'll be locked in her room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being alone tonight. Hello, gorgeous. I heard you need true love's kiss to be able to speak again. So what do you say we give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you get back to the party and leave the princess alone? Right. Uh, of course, your highness. You gotta watch out for those type of guys. It must be awful not being able to speak. Excuse me? What are you doing here? What's the matter? The princess is ill. Excuse us. How dare you? I don't ever want you getting your voice back. Mother, what if that prince was her soulmate? Well, he's going to have to die. Do we really have to kill the prince, Mother? Yes, Danette. We can't risk her getting her voice back. We'll have to make his death look like an accident. Everyone picked to lose an ability. That's right. Find out which one he picked. We'll find his weakness and use it against him. And as for you, Danette, grab her other arm. You're staying here. And I'll go talk to the prince. <laughs> Mother, I'm back, and I found out his weakness. He can't swim until he kisses his soulmate. Oh, this is perfect. We'll drown him. We'll put soap all over the floor, blame it on the maid, say he slipped and fell in the pool. Stop moving. Danette, you watch her while we go handle the prince. Mother, I really don't think... Watch her. I... I can't do this. I'm not gonna let them kill the prince. I'm setting you free. I thought I was here to speak to your daughter. Whoops, clumsy me. <laughs> Help! <laughs> 
Uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. Uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. <gasps> I'm so happy you're okay. Hey, you just talked. My voice, it's... it's back. I think the CPR counted as a kiss. You. What? He's supposed to be dead. Stay away from him. <gasps> no! Mother, she must have kissed him. Well, you were right about one thing, stepmother. He was my soulmate. And now that I have my voice back, I intend to use it. Guards? You two are under arrest. What? What? Bye, mother. Bye, sister. Uh, why isn't she getting arrested? Because she decided to help me, unlike you. You know, sometimes having a change of heart can get you out of trouble. Maybe you'll learn that someday. Why, you little... Didn't realize my soulmate was going to be so badass. And now, looks like she's queen. Make a wish. How many years did it give you? Ten. She has to get married at seventeen? She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's going to be the picky type. <laughs> Your 17th birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's laugh will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But, luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No! My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, Princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes. My mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, Princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, Father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my days left turned back to red, and remember Mother said- Your mother is gone. And I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you? I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead, either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you- I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? 
Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You used the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or, you know, you could stay, if... If you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. Time to see how much money my boyfriend has in his bank account. Not that that's important. I knew he had money, but not that much money. I'm gonna pay him a little visit. Hey. Hey, handsome. I shouldn't tell him I know what's in his bank account. So, baby, what do you want for Christmas? Well, there is this Gucci bag that I really like, but you know what? What am I saying? You don't have to get me anything. Come on. Of course I'm getting you something. In fact, you might get that Gucci bag as long as you're not too naughty. I'll try. Right now, why don't you go out and buy yourself whatever you need? Okay. Bad news. What? Fluffy's sick. The vet says she needs surgery. Well, how much is it? It's about $2,000. We can't afford it. You know what? I think I got it covered. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> Good. Babe, I'm- Whoa. Back. Listen, it's not what it looks like. We can't break up. I need his money. I can't break up with him. I need his money. Uh, her and I are just friends. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Babe, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. It's okay. We all make mistakes. And it was my bad, really. I should have knocked before coming in. Thanks for understanding. She kind of made a mess. Do you think you can clean up? I gotta go to work. Of course, honey. All clean, and you just go make the money. Thanks, babe. Love you. Bye. He is, he is so, so dead. dead. I'm so happy Fluffy's okay, but how did you get the money to pay for her surgery? Mom, about that. There's something that I need to tell you. I can't believe he cheated on you. I know, but now that Fluffy's okay, I think I'm gonna go break up with him. What? Looks like he just got another paycheck. And you still have his credit card. Don't break up just yet. I have a plan for how you can get revenge. Hey, sweetie, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Who is she? You know, I was about to ask you the same thing, but you look really familiar. Are you a model or something? Uh, actually, yes. Figures. I'm sorry, babe, but this girl was just leaving. But you said... No, stay. I think you're going to want to see this. I actually got him a little something. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Oh, wait, but first, before you open that, I believe this is mine, right? Uh-huh. That's your Gucci bag. That's the one you wanted, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and open yours. All right. What's this? Receipts of things that I bought this week. Baby, 10k worth of stuff? Oh, baby, you and I both know that you can afford it. Oh, and there's a card in there, too. Go ahead and read that. Roses are red, violets are blue, you're a dirty, rotten cheater, I'm breaking up with you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girl, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Wait! Ladies, I'll buy you anything! No amount of money is worth being with him. Goodbye. Is a giant teddy bear or become an adult? What kind of options are these? I'm gonna have to go with... Honey, don't pick your wish until I get back from vacation. Fine. Bye, Mom. Bye, and while I'm gone, your big sister's in charge. Yes. Thanks, Mom. I promise I'll take great care of her. Let me see that. Hey! Sorry, but I'm not having you turn into one of those iPad kids. No more iPad for you. No, sissy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> She's so mean. Hmm. If I can be older than sissy, then I can boss her around. What the heck? Nothing even happened to me. Oh, I feel sleepy. Oh, that was a really long nap. My voice, it sounds different. <gasps> it worked! All right, if you want your iPad back... <gasps> Who are you and what did you do with my little sister? Sissy, no, listen, it's me. Yeah, right, you creep. Where is she? Please, put those scissors down. You're scaring me. Tell me something only my sister would know. Um... Tell me something only my sister would know. Oh, when I was three, I flushed your goldfish down the toilet because I thought I was saving its life. <gasps> There's no way you could have known about that unless... Sadie? Duh, who else would it be? Why do you look like this? You look like a younger version of mom. 
Well, I kind of, sort of, used my Christmas wish. You wish to become an adult? Sadie! This is all your fault, really, because you're the one that locked me in my room and took away my iPad. So now that I'm an adult, I order you to give it back to me. <laughs> just because you look like an adult doesn't mean I'm treating you like one. Okay, fine. Then I'll just go to the store and buy one myself, because I found a driver's license and a credit card in my pocket. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Try me. Sadie, wait. Oh, I cannot believe I'm letting you drive me right now. I told you, I've done so many car simulation games that I'm practically a pro at driving at this point. There's a tumbleweed! <sighs> We are going in and out of this- Hey, beautiful. Store. Is there any chance I could get your number? No, sir. She is eight years old. <laughs> Funny. The answer is no. L let's go. You're not getting that. You're getting age-appropriate clothes. No, I like my clothes, and I want this. Sadie, don't you dare start cro- <laughs> Oh my god, is she okay? Do I need to call the police? <sighs> no, ma'am. <sighs> good morning, sissy. No, Sadie, it is not a good morning. I cannot believe you suckered me into letting you buy that. Well, if you didn't, they were gonna call the cops since I was crying so much. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute, your hair looks different. Did you get it done? Do you like it? Yeah, it looks great, except for the fact that you snuck out without telling me. I don't have to tell you anything, because I'm an adult now. You need to take back your wish. No, I like being grown up. Sadie, you don't get what it's actually like to be grown up. You don't see how much I've been taking care of you. I can take care of myself. Oh, yeah? You know what? I'm leaving. Sissy... No, you should see what it's really like to be an adult. How hard could cooking breakfast actually be? I can make mac and cheese in a pan, right? I'll just let it boil on high for one hour. Ooh, that must be my delivery. This giant dollhouse better be easy to assemble. Why is this instruction manual so confusing? And now my eyesight isn't as good as it was before. <gasps> my mac and cheese! <laughs> oh no, it's gonna start a fire. How do I put out a fire? Um, maybe I can use this to cover up the smoke? <laughs> I'm... <gasps> what happened? <laughs> Did you start a fire? I didn't mean to. I was trying to cook breakfast. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on, I gotta get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. Please, worker, mom's gonna kill us. The fire's out, come here. That was a lot of smoke, are you sure you're okay? Yes, sissy, I'm fine. Thank you for saving me. If you didn't come when you did, the whole place probably would have burnt down. And I'm sorry for what I said. You really do take care of me, sometimes even more than mom. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be grown up anymore. But now I'm gonna be stuck like this forever. No, Sadie, don't cry. I got a third option for my Christmas wish when I was out. I can now wish to turn you back into a kid. You would use up your Christmas wish on me? Yeah, I would, because nobody deserves to grow up that fast. You ready? Okay. Did it work? <gasps> my voice is back on me again! Yay! I love you, sissy. I love you too, Sadie. I missed you being little. Give me a hug. Wanna just tell mom we both wish to be nicer to each other? <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> You ran away. Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I'd better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh, I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what? I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. I'm <sighs> sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but... Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her. Tell her that you're my real mommy. I... 
Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption. And how old is Emily? She's five. I see. And it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no. I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine. I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to her test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. <laughs> Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? <sighs> that look like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure, and we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where's Emily? Hey. Oh, you scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll... Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. Hey. Shh, guys, I heard something. Hey. Emily. Emily? Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me. Your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> What's wrong? I thought you left me. <laughs> Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's going to come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm going to take care of you from now on. I promise? I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe, there's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? 
Mm -hmm. He's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I, and you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? <sighs> no, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... She's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have 100%? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. Ugh. Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! Ugh. Todd, how dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... Let me go, you jerks! Read this. I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script! Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. Alright, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not gonna see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're gonna get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him troll! Yes, Todd, get them! Todd, <coughs> you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. 
Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble! Yes, Todd, get them! <clears throat> and this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Anytime. Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and Dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? <laughs> Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Adrina. Okay, true or false, a mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I gonna grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrina? And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh, sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair is getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrina. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone, and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because we want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know? I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are going to stay extinct anymore. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No! You're being sus. 
Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have 100%? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have 100%? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd! How dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> Let me go, you jerks! Read this. <sighs> I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> we're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble. Yes, Todd, get them. <laughs> Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble. Yes, Todd, get them. <laughs> <laughs> And this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Anytime. Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay. What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Want to ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl Star. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You genius. never listen to any American Girl Star.
Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No pomegranate. No pomegranate. No! No, 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 no! No pomegranate! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <laughs> see? You see? <laughs> Hold her! No, no, no! Oh, Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Aw, oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? You look like the girl from Zapota. No, you look like the girl from Zapota. <laughs> Sweetheart, your battery's at 10%. Time to charge. Okay, Mom. Five more minutes. Okay. Patty cake, patty, patty cake. cake. <gasps> You're almost at 5%. I'll be fine. Just one more minute. Okay. You should really go charge now. <gasps> Lacey? Lacey? Mrs. Stevens, she's not waking up. No, her battery. Honey, please, please, please wake up. She's charging. Mommy? Oh, she's alive. You almost died on me. I'll never let this happen again. Mom, I'm going to school. Do you have your... Don't worry, I have my charger. Actually, honey, you won't need that today. Because I made you this. A bracelet? Put it on. It's actually a portable charger. It's a new invention. You won't have to charge ever again. Whoa, thanks, Mom. Of course. Don't get it wet, okay, honey? Okay. How does she have so much energy? It's not fair. It's because of that new bracelet she got. I have an idea. Hey, Lacey, you thirsty? Whoa, uh, you okay? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, can I please use your... Oh, what are you doing, Charger? You took my battery life. How did you do that? Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba super base. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill, chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm going to buy you contacts, but first we got to fix that unibrow. I'm going to pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm going to make your eyebrows look snatched. 
It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done. And it's looking good. Yikes. I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? Alright, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. And well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I get shouldn't Get away have... from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let go! Get in my- It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine. I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. Why? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <gasps> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. Looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the... The pirate king had. Tell me, what is your father's name? 
You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape. Not so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William! Where are we? We're on Skull Island, Princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, Your Majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No. No men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's going to adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're going to come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're going to have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that... Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about... No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she... Oh my what gosh, the... oh my gosh. What is she... Oh my what gosh, the... oh my gosh. How did she do she that? She has powers. Oh my god. <sighs> mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa! Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible! Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright, she wants us to move. Wow! I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. 
Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. Do you want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. <gasps> hey, stop! You can't do that! I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey, kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie. Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. Uh, no. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, honey. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart? Sorry, Laura. She's- oh, 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 you broke my hand, you little- oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find- What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White. Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey. Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for later. Get the glasses quickly. Bad kid. Hurry, doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good, please. No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her! Uh, Dan, stop it! You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom! Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now. And you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... strong. That's right, honey. Get him. No, stop! What is going- You dead. Oh my gosh, Mom. I'm okay, honey. Mom. Sissy, you find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey, hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go. <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my. Mom, it kind of looks like he's- <gasps> Oh, he's alive. There's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my. I don't know, it kind of looks like he's still- <gasps> He's alive. Menere, Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana. No. Bien dare. Kill. Ma. Sa. Family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help. Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt. Sissy, it's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See, they nice. Fine, we shall go with them. Yay, there's the exit. <sighs> I can't open. I still weak. Get back. <laughs> He just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. 
Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> when I come to a party, uh-uh, if you want to come, you have to talk. <laughs> no writing stuff down either. Give me that. <laughs> Aw, she's getting sad. Hey, give that back to her. There. Here. What's your guys' deal? Relax, new guy. We were just playing around. Yeah, it's not our fault her voice is locked. You know, she's the only girl in the whole school that hasn't kissed her soulmate. It's a small school. She can just text what she wants to say. Actually, no. Her parents don't even let her have a phone. Don't listen to them. Here's some paper. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, you okay? You're kind of shaking. Is everything all right? Do you want me to open it? Stella, what are you doing? You're not supposed to talk to boys. Let's go. Let's go. If the world was ending, you come over right. Got her talking to a boy today. Probably trying to find her soulmate, but that's never going to happen. <laughs> Stella? What the hell is wrong with you? Are you alright? Aw, uh, you haven't kissed your soulmate yet, have you? Well, are you in some sort of trouble? Stella! There you are! What's going on? Are these your parents? Oh, stop it. Come here. So sorry about this. Whoa! Time to go. What did you do? He did what had to be done. He's gone, and it's your fault. Anybody home? That's the boy from her school. I'll take care of this one. She's freaking out over here. What'd you do with the boy? Relax. I sent him home. I told him you were asleep. He seemed worried. Have you been asking people for help at school? You better not be, because you know what will happen if you do. Now tomorrow, you're going to smile and go to school, and if your mom catches you talking to that boy again, he's going to meet the same fate as the truck driver. Stella, I want to talk to you about the note. Wait, I think I know how to help you. I'm pretty sure that you and I are, uh, soulmates. You think so too, right? That's why you gave me the note, so I could help you get your voice. You need me to kiss you. Hey, it's okay, I know you're nervous, but it's worth a shot, right? Come on, you gotta unlock your voice. One kiss. Did it work? I don't know. Hey, we're soulmates, all right. There's something that I have to tell you. What do you want to tell me? The woman that's coming, she's not my real mom. I was taken from my real parents. What? Why would they do that? Because they wanted my- Stella, you're kidding me. Guess you didn't learn your lesson. Hey, let's go. No, you can talk? Wait a minute, shouldn't you be happy for her? I am happy. It's just that my daughter, she's deeply troubled. Don't listen to anything that she- Oh, hush. Ow. Hey, is she alright? She's okay, but like I said, she's not so well in the mind. Can we have a moment? Uh, okay. No, wait. Let go. I have my voice back now. It's over, Karen. Everyone is going to know the truth about what you- About what you- Shh, that's enough. Ugh, I don't know what we're gonna do. The little brat kissed her soulmate. Well, she's not gonna stay asleep for long. I think her soulmate might have called the... Hey, this is the police. Open the door. Shit, we have to hide her. Good news, I got the cops to leave. Great, because she wouldn't stop squirming. Ugh, you guys can't just hide me here forever. She's right. Well, do you got any bright ideas? Legend says if a girl's soulmate dies, the girl loses her voice permanently. You're gonna call your soulmate and invite him over. No, I won't. Yes, you will, or you're never gonna see your real family again. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for confusing you today, and I just wanted to tell you that I'm fine, and I was wondering if you wanted to come over. Yeah, sure. Such a good girl. I think he's here. Uh, she's right there. Stella, what's going on? Run. You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No, no men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off.
Honey, this is the single mom that's going to adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're going to come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're going to have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that... Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about... No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she... Oh my what gosh, the... oh my gosh. What is she... Oh my what gosh, the... oh my gosh. How did she do she that? She has powers. Oh my god. Mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Um, Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright, she wants us to move. Why is she doing that? Wow! I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. Do you want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. <gasps> hey, stop! You can't do that! I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey, kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie. Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. Uh, no. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm going to take the phone off mute and you're going to stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help. Mm -hmm. Honey? Sweetheart? Sorry, Laura. She's... Oh, 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 you broke my hand, you little... Oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find... What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White! Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey!
Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for lasers. Get the glasses. Keep it. Bad kid. Hurry, doctor. Put them on. No. No. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're going to have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good. Please. No. You are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay. Let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her! Uh, Dan, stop it! You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom! Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now. And you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... strong. That's right, honey. Get him! No, stop! <laughs> what is going- You dead. Oh my gosh, Mom! I'm okay, honey. Mom! Sissy, you find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey, hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go- <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my! Mom, it kinda looks like he's- <gasps> Oh, he's alive! There's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my! I don't know, it kinda looks like he's still- <gasps> He's alive. Menere, Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana! No. Bien dare. Kill. Ma. Sa. Family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help? Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt. Sissy, it's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See, they nice. Fine, we shall go with them. Yay, there's the exit. <sighs> I can't open. I still weak. Get back. <laughs> he just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> my soulmate controls my hairstyle for the day or my emotions. I might regret this, but I think I'm going to go with emotions because I really don't want him to mess up my hair. Good morning, Mother. Sweetie, I accidentally shrunk your favorite dress in the wash. You can let the dog wear it now. But... but you love that dress. You're sure you're not mad? No worries. I'm off to school. Hey, so... I kinda have this, uh, this crush on you. Okay, your face is kinda scaring me a little. Good! Because I don't even know why you're talking to me in the first place. You're right. I, I knew this was a bad idea. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go. We have to evacuate. There's a fire. Oh, you just need to relax. Everything's gonna be fine. Mr. Smith, this one student refuses to run. Hey, why aren't you running? I can't really run right now. I'm much too calm for that. Are you insane? Listen, this building is gonna... <clears throat> it's gonna come down on us. Come on, I'm taking you out of here. Look, she's alive. Mr. Smith saved her. <sighs> what is wrong with you? I'm sorry, but my soulmate gave me the emotion of calmness. What? Girl, your soulmate almost got you killed. Guys, can I talk to her alone for a sec? Your soulmate almost got you killed. Guys, can I talk to her alone for a sec? Hey, girly. So, what did Mr. Smith want to talk to you about yesterday? He just said that he couldn't help but feel like me almost dying in the school fire was his fault. And then he just took off. Well, that's kind of weird. You know what else is weird? I found out Mr. Smith is only 20 years old. Apparently, he graduated early. That's cool. Yeah, and you've been stuck on happy ever since you talked to him. Her hamster passed away this morning, and it hasn't even phased her. She deserves to mourn for her hamster. Now come to think of it, what if he was just hibernating and I buried him alive? I killed Chubsters. Oh, hey, don't cry. What just happened? Her soulmate must have heard us talking and changed her emotion. You know who I saw walking by when we were talking? Mr. Smith. No, you don't think that he's her... Soulmate? 
Yeah. You know what? Come with me. We're going to go talk to him. Mr. Smith, Sylvia, I don't know if you should do this. Oh, hello, girls. Uh, what's up? I know you're her soulmate. Let's see what sense you lose, honey. Touch? Oh, wow. Does that mean that I can't feel pain? Yep, it sure does. Oh, this is going to be the best day ever. And then after that, I got so embarrassed that I... <laughs> Whoops. You jerk, you hit her right in the head. Hey, it's okay. I, I can't feel pain. Oh. Really? Well, in that case, will you go to the blood drive with me? I'm really scared to go alone. Um, okay. Okay, let me see your arm. Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, honey, wake up. You're all done. I got a little bit distracted, but you should be fine. Mom, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh, dear. Okay, honey, I'm taking you to get checked out. Any discomfort here? And how many fingers now? Three. I got your lab results, and I don't know how you didn't feel this. Can't believe you didn't feel this. Feel what? You said you've been feeling kind of lightheaded, correct? Yeah, just like kind of dizzy. That's because you have lost a significant amount of blood. Did you go to a blood drive or anything recently? Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. That lady, she did this to me. What lady, honey? The one from the blood drive. I have to go find her. Oh, no, you don't. You are in no condition to leave. But, honey, listen to the doctor. How are you not feeling pain? You almost died. Your heart could have stopped. Oh, my. You might want to close your eyes for this part. Is that a bite mark? That nurse at the blood drive, she must have been a... So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe. I love you even more. And what can I get you two? I'll take the steak and fries, and she's going to get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm going to find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't. You'll get... I'm coming in. Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt just in case you need it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on. I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No. Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? A lot of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? You didn't actually eat the dinner, did you? Well, aren't you quite the little actress, pretending to be asleep like that? Now, what were you doing with my... Amber Alert, missing girl from 2018, shit. 
So why didn't you call the police right away? I was too scared to call the police at the time, but after they left, I did, and that's when they told me her description matched Claire Montgomery, who's the girl who went missing in 2018. After all I've done for you, and you go and lie to me, I need to ask you a question, and I don't want to set you free, so... How did you? Haven't you figured it out by now? I found a way to steal your words, and I can control how many you get. I mean, I gotta admit, it's pretty adorable watching you anxiously wait every year, hoping you'll get more words. But how many do you always end up getting? Three. And what do I ask you to tell me every year? I love you. I love you. Those were the only words I wanted to hear from you for so long. But you were never into me. Because you were a stalker. I admired you, Claire. I... I care about you a lot. Then let me go. You know I can't do that. I have to protect you. You're insane. And you're using up all your words. Here, take some more. You are a sick son of a... On second thought, maybe it's best if you remain silent. This is why I can never give you any more words. I'll come back down here once you... Looks like we got company. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. That may be the case, but we're gonna take a look around, and if we don't find anything, then you'll be good to go. So far, I don't see anybody here, so... Keep looking. Want to get your words back? 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, 1. Words retrieved. Since we can't find anyone, we're gonna... No. No help, I'm down here. Wait, where's that coming from? He has a basement. I'm... I'm in the basement. Show us where she is right now. Whoa, okay, okay. Hey, are you Claire Montgomery? Yes, yes, that's me. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. How did you get your words back? Boys, get him out of here. Don't even look at him, it's alright. Claire, tell him you love me. Tell him that I was good to you. Tell him or else I'll- Stop it. Somebody get him in the car. Want to take Derek's words? Babe, please. Get in the car, Miss the Paca. Babe, you have to listen to him. Don't call me babe. In fact, you're not going to be able to call me anything now. You're finally going to get to feel how I felt for these past three years. Being silenced isn't very fun, is it, Derek? Looks like Mr. Parker got what he deserved. Five mil or a lamp? Well, I'm like really afraid of the dark, so I gotta have a lamp. <sighs> this isn't a lamp. It doesn't even have like a light bulb. Did you get your birthday gift yet? Yeah, I picked a lamp, but I got scammed. It doesn't even light up or anything. That's a genie lamp. What? Have you tried rubbing it? Um, no, that's weird. You dumb dumb, you gotta rub it to activate your wishes. Haven't you seen Aladdin? Oh my god, wait, I remember that movie. You're right. So, do I just rub it like this? Yeah, I think so. Nothing's happening. Open the lamp. Agree! Congrats! You got three wishes. Are you a genie? No, I'm your mama. Come on, of course I'm a genie. <sighs> okay, no need for the attitude. So, can we, like, wish for anything? Nope, there are rules. And here they are. <sighs> no wishing for money? You already had a chance to get five mil. I... Okay, that's fair. I wish for... Stop! You gotta think about it. All right, all right. Okay, I got it. I wish... Wait. Shh. I wish... You're gonna regret this. Oh my gosh, I wish you would just be quiet. Your wish is my command. I didn't mean that. Hmm. No, listen, that doesn't count. Come on, turn her back. Sorry, I can't take back any wishes. Hmm? Jeannie, come on, just give her her voice back. The only thing you can do is wish for it back. But if I do that, I'm only gonna have one wish left. Look who can do math, yes. Listen, you don't really need your voice, right? Mm. Ow! Okay. Guess you do. Mm-hmm. I can't understand you. Mm. I can't understand you. If only there was some way that she could communicate with me. Now is that the time for text? This is serious. Mm. I am so bad at making decisions. I wish that I was smarter. Mm. All right. You got it, kid. I know what to do. I've decided. I wish for her voice to come back, but this time... My voice is super powerful now? People are literally going to pay to hear you sing, and then we can make lots of money. Just try out your voice right now, and, um, see what happens. Okay.
Please be a vampire. Please be a vampire. Werewolf. Oh, no. Who is ready for their first day of scare school? Me. Did you find out what your soulmate is yet? Mm -mm, not yet. Well, as soon as you find out, let me know. Hey, new girl. What's your species? What? She means what mystical creatures are your parents. Oh, well, my dad is a vampire and my mom is a siren. Your mom's a siren? Like a mermaid? That's so cool. Yeah, well, they're both divorced now, so it didn't really work out. It's alright. Mine are too. Same here. <laughs> I heard Miss Scream is assigning us partners. Really? Yeah, hope we get each other. Yeah, me too. Draculina, you'll be partners with... Can you please just call me Lena? Okay, Lena. You'll be partners with Clauden. No way. I don't work with vampires. I'm not working with her. Well, I don't want to work with him either. If you don't work together, you'll fail the class. Is something bothering you, darling? You hardly touched your spaghetti and eyeballs. Nothing, just someone at school's been giving me a lot of trouble. Oh, Belle, why don't you just use your siren call to make them fall in love with you? Dad, you know I don't like doing that. Suit yourself. But don't forget to let me know about your soulmate. Right, I will. Claudine, look, we can't fail this class, so we're going to have to work together. Fine, but I can't have you coming over to my house. My father would disown me if he saw me working with you. Likewise, but you do realize that I'm only half vampire, right? You're also half siren, aren't you? Yeah. Wait a minute, how did you know that? Uh, lucky guess. Mm hmm. Anyways, why don't we just work at the old haunted house across the street? No one will spot us together there. No way, that place is infested with ghosts. Aw, oh, what's the matter? Too scared? I can't believe you convinced me to come to this haunted house. If you're too scared, you can leave. I'm not scared. Claudine, look behind you. <laughs> what? Got you. Oh, that's not funny. Don't even smile. You should have seen your face. <laughs> okay, next question. What is the best way to scare a human? Is it A to... What was that? Uh-uh, cut it out. You can't prank me twice. I'm not kidding. What was that? How would I know what... Search the house. This place is probably crawling with them. Are those... Monster hunters, yeah. Come on, we gotta hide. They're here somewhere. I heard them. Hey, it's gonna be okay. I won't let them hurt you. <gasps> Claudin! I got one. What kind of creature do you think she is? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Claudin, can you hear me? What happened? You were hit with a tranquilizer. Wait, what? Where did they go? Hey, don't worry. I took care of the monster hunters. I used my siren call. What does that do again? Well, basically it makes anyone fall in love with me, and then from there they'll do whatever I say, so I told them to leave this place and to never come back. Whoa, you... you saved my life. I mean, you were gonna do the same for me. Lena, my soulmate is half vampire and half siren. Um... My soulmate actually says werewolf, so I guess that means that you and I are- We can't be together, Lena. Our parents will never allow it. Wait, speaking of parents, we've been gone for a really long time. Yeah, we better get back. But, Claudin, I'll tell my dad that we're soulmates if you tell yours. Uh, okay. Dad, there's something I need to- Honey! Mom? Mom? Surprise! I'm human for today. Isn't your mother just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? What did you do to Dad? You know your father can be short with me. He wasn't gonna let me in, so I... So you used your siren call on him? Don't act like you don't do the same. I do not. Uh-huh. Anyways, what did you want to tell him? Well, I was gonna tell him that I found out my soulmate. Oh! Please tell me he's a handsome young merman. Not exactly. He's, uh... He's a werewolf. A werewolf? Baby, you know how your dad feels about those. I know, but I really like this guy. Does he feel the same about you? Mom, we're soulmates, of course. So we're your father and I, and look how we turned out. But, but nothing. You need to make sure he feels the same way before you tell your dad. Hey, Clodden. Hey. So, I don't really know how to ask you this, but, um, what's wrong? I'm not allowed to talk to you anymore. Wait, what? I don't get it. At first they were okay with me dating you. Then all of a sudden they're telling me to stay away from you. Well, maybe if I go talk to them they'll change their mind. No, I, I think we better just keep our distance. Aw, baby, what's the matter? Claudine and I can't be together. There are plenty of young mermen for you in the sea. No, Dad, I don't want to date a mer... 
Wait a minute, Dad would never say something like that. You're controlling him still. Of course not. You don't want me to be with Claudin, do you? Baby, I... Did you make his parents hate me? No, I just went over there to talk to them. Mom. Look, it wasn't going to work out anyways. I'm saving you the trouble. I can't believe you. I'm telling him. Claudin, I can't talk to you. No, wait, there's something I have to... <laughs> Whoa, Lena, you alright? You okay? Yeah, sorry, I only get like this when I'm around garlic. Wait, really? Yeah, one of the many perks being half vampire. <laughs> I'm gonna go get you some water. Thanks. So she does have a weakness. Told you. You two, I, I thought I... Got rid of us? Think again. You won't be able to sing this time. Let's go. Ow! Hurry up and tie her up. We gotta get out of here. I know. I'm almost done. <sighs> Don't get that garlic too close to her. We need her alive. Okay, let me just take a quick blood sample. Lena, hey, get away from her. We're not gonna hurt her. At least, not too badly. <clears throat> Don't get that garlic too close to her. We need her alive. Okay, let me just take a quick blood sample. Lena, hey, get away from her. We're not gonna hurt her. At least, not too badly. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you so much for saving me. Of course. I mean, I'm just glad you're alright. I'm really glad we were able to work things out with our parents. Yeah, now that mine are out of the trance, they really like you, but not your mom. Yeah, she says she's sorry. She's back in the ocean now, though. It's okay. Parents can be a little crazy sometimes. You know, I heard werewolves are really bad kissers. Really? Why don't you find out for yourself? Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him. But definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow. That was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry. I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am. And I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good. I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must. I will not lose you like I lost your father. You must find a husband. Do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun. Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. <gasps> Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you all right? My corset, it's... it's too tight. Corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. <laughs> I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who- Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I- Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent. We shall be married tomorrow and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, your highness, unless, of course, it was true. 
I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I, I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding. That man is a fraud. Nathaniel, someone get this fool out of here. The only fool here is you. Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be. In fact, he's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No! I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the queen. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. A language to speak until you meet your soulmate? English or Spanish? I mean, everyone I know speaks English, so... Surprise attack! ¿Qué te pasa? <laughs> Why are you speaking Spanish? Esto es su culpa. Oh, you must have been picking what language to speak today. Mamá, tenemos un problema. Honey, did you pick to speak Spanish until you kiss your soulmate? How did this happen? Well... Ella. It was an accident. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, it's okay, baby. Seriamente? Oh, stop. You'll be fine. Go to school. Don't worry, bestie. I speak Spanish. I can translate for you. Sé que... Gracias. Hey, girly, I gotta do something. I'll be right back. Just wait here. Por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Sorry, girl. I don't speak Spanish. Por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Are you speaking Spanish, girly? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Hey, I couldn't help but hear you said your head was hurting. Sí. ¿Puedes entenderme? Sí. Hablo español. I can understand you. Follow me. You said you need your medication. Where's your backpack? I... Okay. ¿Te sientes mejor? Did the medication help? Sí, gracias. So you can't speak English at all right now? And you won't be able to until you kiss your soulmate? You never know, maybe you and I are soulmates. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe we should try to... Well, that was nice. Sorry if I'm being awkward. No, it's okay. No way, you just spoke English. You and I must be... Soulmates. Soulmates. Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Got my birthday gift, let me see. My parents got it for me, it's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What, why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing, it's so cute. Thanks, it was probably so expensive. Hey mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not gonna come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. I took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> you know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah, do you want me to walk you home? 
No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey. Let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. <sighs> we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go. But... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? Darling, please let us see your mark. Oh, she has a diamond. Honey, what billion is? If she didn't, someone would be losing their head. Dad. It's just an expression, dear. Now I will show you this chart, and your father will explain. This is our money status. The diamond gem means, you know, we're rich. The middle class is red gem. You could talk to them, but really, don't make friends with them. And the green gem is poor. Don't you ever talk to these people. They're a big no from me. I can't wait for you to show all your friends how rich you are when you go to your New Year's Eve party tonight. Nobody needs to know how rich I am. Guys, please, I was just gonna grab a couple appetizers and then I'll be out of here. Sorry, did you not read the sign? No green marks allowed to my party. That was brutal. Excuse me. I'll get us food, Mom. I'm gonna paint my mark red so I could sneak back into the party. Mom, let me call you back. Hey, you, freeze. Whoa, whoa, listen, I'm not gonna tell on you. Yeah, right. You know what? Your mark looks fake, too. Here, wipe it off. Let's see if you're the real deal. Do it. Okay, okay. What the? You're a diamond mark? I want to help you. You... you do? Why would you want to help me? I literally held a gun to you. Well, first of all, I can tell that's a Nerf gun spray painted black. Ugh, dang it. Wait, how did you know that? It says Nerf or nothing on the side. Also, I overheard you talking to your mom about you needing food. Is that true? Yeah, that's the whole reason I came to this party. We kind of ran out of food yesterday. I'm so sorry. No one deserves to go hungry, especially not on New Year's Eve. Come with me. I'm going to take you to my house. We're going to your place? Yes, we have tons of food and... Oh, but your mark. 
huh? Okay, I originally brought this as body shimmer for the New Year's Eve party, but we're gonna use it to make your mark look like my mark. Uh huh. Just stay still for me. Why? Why are we doing this exactly? Well, technically, I'm not allowed to talk to green marks. Seriously? Wow. Hey, it's my parents' rule, not mine. The mark actually looks pretty real. Come on, let's go. Okay. Thanks for the food. Oh, it's no trouble, really. And since you said you needed money for you and your mom, I'm going to give you one of my Christmas presents that I'm really not going to use. It's a brand new MacBook Pro. I already have like three of them. Thanks, but I don't have a home, so I don't have Wi-Fi. I wish I could let you and your mom stay here in this mansion. Nah, it's cool. Oh. What? Your mark is kind of smearing. I can see the green. Oh, shoot. Darling! Honey, where are you? Go hide in my closet right now. Get in my closet. Wait, how long am I going to have to be in here? I don't know, but they can't see you with a green mark. But... I'm sorry, just... Shh. Oh, there you are, darling. We were looking for you. Your mom and I are leaving for a business trip for a month. You are? I mean, you are? Yeah, but before we go, let's refresh what I told you about the marks, okay? Oh, no, guys. I really don't need to... Ah! Take the shot, and remember what did your father tell you? Now, do red marks make good friends? No. That's right. And what did I say about green marks? Don't talk or make friends with them. You know these rules are ridiculous, right? I mean, did you guys ever think that maybe we should help others that are less fortunate? I mean, maybe every once in a while we could help the green marks out with some food or maybe even some shelter. Don't be ridiculous. Do you understand how hard we work to get where we are today? We're not going to waste it on those green marks. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if she's truly our daughter. Hey, after that, I think it's probably best I go. No, wait. I want to help you guys still. My parents will never know. Thanks again for letting my mom and I stay here. We really appreciate it. You're such a beautiful, kind young girl. I wish my mom was like you. I'm sure she loves you very... Well, well, what do we have here? Mom, Dad, you guys weren't supposed to be back until... Tomorrow. Yeah, we got back early. I want these green marks out of my house right now. No, if they leave, then I leave too, because they're good people and they have nowhere else to go. Them being poor is not our problem, and you're not going to leave. I will. I'll take what's mine and I'll leave. Huh. What's yours? You own nothing. If you leave, your mark will turn green and you'll become poor. Then so be it. You know, there's more to life than just being rich or poor. At the end of the day, it's what makes you happy, and it's about helping others. And you guys were hardly ever here for me anyways. And when you were, I wish that you weren't. Oh, honey. Just stop. Because these people have been nicer to me in the one month that they've been here than you guys have ever been. And I realize it's better to be poor and happy than to be rich and miserable. Come on, guys. Let's go. We didn't mean to make you give up your mark. You don't deserve to be out here in the rain. We're sorry. Don't be. I've been wanting to tell them that for a while anyways. It's not even that bad out here. It's just a little rain. <gasps> and a lot of thunder. Darling, are you out here? Mom? Dad? Oh, honey, there you are. Come on, all of you. Come in the car. Please hurry. I think we're good. Darling, please, what you said about the money. You're right. We should help others, and we're going to be different from now on. Do you promise? We promise, and we have more than enough room for your friends in our mansion. Are you guys okay with going back to live with me and my parents? If you're okay with it, then we're okay with it. Exactly. We did enjoy living there, after all. If they make any weird moves, we can get out of there. Yeah, gotcha. But right now, what I think we all should do is get out of this rain. Agreed. Let's sit a millionaire's dog or tutor a billionaire's child. I'm pretty sure the billionaires are going to pay more. We will pay you 500 Per day? <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. Per hour? Well, that sounds terrific. Where is my son? One moment, I'll go get him. I will be right here. You're going to wish you didn't accept that job. What, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. Hello, I'm Ronald. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ronald. I'm Bree. You are really tall for 12. Yeah, can we start the tutoring now? We can start right now. Where's a good room to start? This way. Follow me. Hey, Ronald. How are you doing on that worksheet I gave you? I'm done. Here. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> is something wrong? It's just that your mom said you were really bad at math, but these all look correct. Where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mommy will be gone for a while. Oh, okay, well I kind of wish they would have mentioned that. I guess we'll just try something a little more challenging for you next time. Would you like a drink? Actually, yeah, that would be great, thanks. <coughs> Hello? I'm back. Sorry, you scared me. Um, do you know why there's noises coming from that hallway down there? 
Uh, that's my dog. I'm sorry. He's really loud. Oh, your dog. Okay. <laughs> Here's your drink. I'm actually good. I have to go catch my Uber, but I'll see you tomorrow. Text from the mom. Forgot to mention that Ronald is highly allergic to... dogs. Can we start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs. So how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. I'll take special meds just to be around the dog, please. She's the only friend I got. Look, I get it, but Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No, don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell Mommy and Daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're going to need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you... Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry. I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance and I'm not really sure how long things are gonna... You know what? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. <sighs> but I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay. Cool. BRB. Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. <gasps> what did I just see? That didn't look like a dog that looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait! Have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tuta, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I... I have to go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're gonna have to join them. Ugh, <sighs> my head. She woke up! Shh, you're gonna scare her. What the hell? Where am I? We're all locked in a basement. Wait a minute, are you Ronald's other tutors? Yeah. yeah. How long have you guys been down here? We've been down here for like a month. You have? Good, you're awake. So, how are you? Not great. You know, because you hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan. I'm sorry, I just wanted some friends. Ronald, this isn't the way though. You have to let us go. Darling, I'm home. Not a word. Stay quiet. Ronald! Coming, mummy. Ronald, there you are. Don't bother calling for help. She can't hear us. How does a 12-year-old get his hands on something like that? Well, they are billionaires. They probably buy him whatever he wants. Well, there has to be some way out of here. I wish, girl, we tried. Oh my gosh, he left my phone. Can either of you reach it? No, both of our hands are tied. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kick the table over. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, who are you calling? I'm using my foot to text my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? No, girl, call the cops. <sighs> no, 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 girls, trust me, this is the right move. He can track my phone and have a team here in just a few minutes. Huh? huh? Is your boyfriend a spy or something? Uh-oh. What? What? My phone died. No. Girls, I'm sorry to do this, but I'll have to get rid of two of you. What? No, please. Ronald, no. Chill, I'm not gonna get rid of- Freeze, kid. What the- Got your text, babe. I had no idea my son was capable of doing such terrible things. Girls, please take this. These checks are for a million. I know. Are you sure? Yes. It's the least I can do. Thank you for saving us, sir. Absolutely. Glad you guys are safe. Girl, he's a real keeper. Yeah, he is. I was meant to be a boyfriend, not him. Can someone please get Ronald McDonald out of here? How dare you? Please wish for me to pass my test. What? No. Leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch? Sure. You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me. No, I mean, I wanted to- Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. 
Can you please wish for- Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm. I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes. Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited. Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. Not gonna happen. Oh yes it is. I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh, okay. Come here. No way. I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice. Now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. All right, you can have a little break. Come on. You know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I going to do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst, Melanie. Grayson, what are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. <gasps> that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Whatever cookie you choose to eat will give you a special power. It's a tough choice, but I think I gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. Your magic bunny will now appear. It's a cute little bunny, and it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna find out. And what better place to discover this thing's power than at this Easter party that my mom is forcing me to go to? Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. Thanks, I, um, I got it as a gift. Oh, okay, cool. He's in love with you. So, there's this concert coming up, and I was wondering- Will you just excuse me for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, I didn't expect this thing to talk to me. Honey! She's in love with your gardener. So, did you find out what the bunny's power does? No, no, I didn't. I need to go now. Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. My mom is in love with the gardener, and my best friend is in love with me. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, Dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love with your teacher. I found your first grade teacher here. Summer, is that you? Have a rich mom or a rich dad? Well, my dad left when I was eight, so I think we gotta go with rich dad. Especially because we need the money. That must be him. Hello. Dad? Huh? No offense, but I expected you to be dressed a little nicer than that. Gee, maybe it's because I'm the postman, not your dad. Sorry. I wonder what's in here. Holy... Mom. What? What is it, honey? I found you a new husband, and we're gonna be set for life. Did you sign me up for a dating show? No, Mom, I picked a rich dad, and just look in this envelope. There's $2,000 in here. I know. Isn't this great, Mom? I'm gonna have a dad again. Oh, honey. This letter shows he's a billionaire. He's never gonna visit us. 
I bet you that's him. Dad, we're looking for the daughter of a billionaire. Um, look, I can't see or I can't say bad words until I meet my soulmate. Guess you're going blind. What? Why? Hey, honey, you have a potty mouth. I do not. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm going to prove to you that I can live without cussing. This is going to be a piece of cake. Surprise attack. Ow, mother father that hurt. <laughs> mother father? Why'd you say that? Because I can't cuss, dipshiz. I'm telling mom you're trying to say bad Wait, words. Wait, if you don't tell her, I'll uh, give you my favorite teddy bear. Mm, I don't know. Well, I do like that teddy bear. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Mom! Frick you! Whoops. <laughs> you little witch! <laughs> witch? Is that the best insult you can do? I can't cuss. Aw, can poor baby not cuss until she meets her soulmate? Oh, fudge off. Dude, she sounds like she's straight out of Disney Channel. <laughs> Oh, ow. Oh, damn it. I am so sorry. It's okay. Ugh. Wait a minute. I just said a bad word. Yeah, so? Well, I'm not allowed to say bad words until I meet my... Soulmate. Share my soulmate's hair color or share my soulmate's eye color. I mean, I just got my highlights done and I don't really want to change it, so I think I'm going to share his eye color. Here goes nothing. Oh, honey, have you looked in the mirror? No, I... <gasps> I thought they were going to give me his eye color, not just one of his eye colors. Hey girl, why are you wearing sunglasses inside? No reason. Then why won't you look me in the eyes? Come on girl, we're besties, we're supposed to tell each other everything. Alright, you caught me, it's because I look like this, okay? Do you have any idea how I can get my eyes back to normal? I'm pretty sure you have to meet your soulmate. But that could take literally forever, I'm just going to keep these on for now. Hey! I am so sorry, it's really hard to see with these on, but having said that, you actually have really pretty eyes. Thank you. You have really nice brown eyes too. Well thanks, but one is literally green right now. <laughs> uh, no it's not. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from, or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye mom, I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove that. You gotta outfit. be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> for the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm gonna go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot, but... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 please don't cry. Look, there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, 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 she just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut, that's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. 
Oh no, he did it. Wanna play mother? May I for a chance to win fifty million? I always wanted a mother, and I can use the money to buy myself my own house one day. Hello. Hi. Are you really my mother now? Yes, I am your mother. You listen to me. Okay. Mother, may I have this cookie? No, you may not. But do not argue with me. It is past your bedtime. Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, mother. I was just thinking. May I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. Well, mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey, sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Hey, sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Mother, may I go see a friend? Yes, you may. Hey, what's wrong? Remember the bully I had since elementary school? Yeah. She was eliminated from the game today, and I'm pretty sure that Mother wants me to win this game. You think Mother wants you to win the fifty million? Yes. Look, I get you are a foster kid, and Mother is the closest thing you've had to a real mom. But she's AI. She doesn't have feelings. No, listen to me. I am telling you, I am pretty sure that I am her favorite. Okay, let's test this then. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? No, no. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? Yes, you may. What? Forget mother. I'm going. Jocelyn, wait! Don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Mess around and find out. I have to shut down mother. I have to shut down mother. Mother, may I please have some water? No. You haven't let me drink water for three days. Mother, may I please give her some of my water? No. You may not. I can't take this anymore. Give me the water. Please, if you just hold on a little bit longer, I'm gonna <sighs> save you. Mother, may I ask you a question? Yes. How many players are left in this game? There are three players left. Mother, may I go to sleep? Of course. But wait, I'm always watching. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good night. It's time for me to end this game once and for all. Stop! You didn't ask me permission to come here. I'm sorry, mother. I can't let this game go on anymore. Don't. If you unplug that, I will have you eliminated. No, you won't. Because I know you care about me. If you were gonna kill me, you would have done it already. I have to do this. Wait. I can show you your real mother. I'm sorry. I have to shut you off. Wait. I can show you your real mother. You can? Yes. She's closer than you think. Your real mother is. Shut her off. Mother towering down. Finally, the game's over. Jocelyn, forget mother. I'm going. Jocelyn, wait! Don't go. She's not going to do anything. Surprise! I survived. I'm glad you're okay, but she was right about to tell me who my real mother was. I'm sorry, but she had to be shut down. Do you feel like this was a little too easy? Wouldn't you think there would be security? Yeah, that is odd. Forget about it. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so familiar? It's me, mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of mother. But I'm also your real mother. No, All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so familiar? It's me, mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of mother. But I'm also your real mother. No, I'm so sorry. I had to put you up for adoption so I could run this game. But now it's over. You hurt so many people. I never meant for this game to get so brutal. I started out by doing this as a science experiment, but it made me lose sight of the things that really matter. Even as mother, I was watching over you. I wanted you to win that fifty million. But don't worry, because I'm going to make a new game. What?
Yes, and I was thinking instead of Mother May I, we could all play Red Light Green Light. And since you're my daughter, you'll have to play. Please wish for me to pass my test. What? No, leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch, or...? You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to... Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for... Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm! I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes. Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited. Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. Not gonna happen. Oh yes it is, I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh okay, come here. No way, I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice, now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. All right, you can have a little break. Come on. You know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I going to do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst, Melanie. Grayson, what are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. Oh, that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Thanks, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess, to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's like? Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please. Of course. I'm not giving him my. Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my Valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's like? Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give you in private, please. Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my Valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. 
I promise to take good care of it. You in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. <laughs> this is my last- Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. <laughs> this is my last- Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. <laughs> this is my last- Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. <laughs> this is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. <laughs> this is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. <laughs> this is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. <laughs> this is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. <laughs> this is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. <laughs> this is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? 
Sorry, princess, to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's? Like, give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please. Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's like? Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's like? Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last chance, Daniel. Will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. 
I promise to take good care of it. Give you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last- Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine? It's like- Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last- Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess. To another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's- Like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my- Can't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. He's going to do. This is my last- Remember, girls, no using your powers at school. Don't worry, Professor. I'll make sure everything goes fine. I'm so excited for our first day of high school. Yeah, because being stuck in a building for eight hours is going to be so much fun. Everyone, please welcome our new students, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. Um, who picked out your names? <laughs> <laughs> the professor named us. Who? Oh, she means our dad. He's a scientist. Oh, wow, very interesting. What a bunch of freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Way to keep our cover, Bubbles. Sorry. It's okay, Bubbles. So... You three are sisters? Yeah, why? How come you guys look nothing alike? We're all adopted. Yikes, so you're not really sisters then? Of course we are. Of course we are. Ugh, your voice is so annoying. Why don't you say that again? <gasps> what the? I'm telling you, we saw her. Her eyes were red. I think you guys have seen too many scary movies. I agree. Yeah, me have laser eyes. Come on. We're telling the truth. They are freaks. Ladies, that is enough. You two have detention for lying. What? We are so getting you back. Thanks for trying to protect me, Blossom. Of course, nobody bullies my sister. Blossom, do you realize what you've done? Our cover is officially blown. No, it's not. The principal didn't even believe them. But Blossom, look, there's a camera up there. Uh-oh, do you think they could have recorded me using my powers? Let's hope not. Don't worry, I'll just destroy the camera. Bubbles, no! Don't! What? Now the camera's destroyed. So there was a fire at school today, hmm? You girls wouldn't have anything to do with that, now would you? 